Unbeknownst to many, the popular lookout in Paramin is not the first La Vigie in the country. Rather, it shares the title with at least two other locations, including Fort George. La Vigie is a patois phrase that translates to mean the lookout and referred to military vantage points that were used to spot incoming marine vessels. During those days, there were a series of these lookouts that were used not only to spot incoming ships, but also to relay signals to the other bases strategically located on lofty ridges along the mountain range. Originally known as Bala Vigie, this location serves a very different purpose today, more suited to the age of peace we now enjoy. For most of us who do not have the good fortune to live in the community of Paramin, the best route to get to this destination is along the North Coast Road. Pretend you're taking a trip to Maracas Bay, and on the way, you are bound to see an unmistakable and steep road on the left, Fonpoadu Road. Here's a pro tip. If you are unsure whether your vehicle can handle steep hills, arrange a Paramin taxi in advance. It will save you the worry. Several hills later, a new will arrive at the site. Situated at 2,001 feet above sea level, it is the highest point in Paramin, and one can anticipate that there will be stunning views. The park exudes serenity and an ambiance of peace. The sounds of birds chirping and the gentle rustle of leaves as the cool mountain breeze whisks through the tree branches provides the constant hum of nature in the area. Added to this, the mature trees provide ample shade so as not to be smitten by the sun. However, there is nothing that can protect you from being smitten by the views you behold. The park features amenities for the comfort of visitors. The most prominent of these are the three viewing decks that provide vantage points which offer unparalleled panoramic views. To the south, views of several communities including Maraval and a glimpse of the capital in the distance. To the east, seemingly endless heavily forested rolling mountains. To the west, more rolling hills bordered by the northern coastline. And finally, to the north, surrounded by the deep blue of the Caribbean Sea and bathed in the midday sun, Chodo Island. From this vantage point, it may appear small, but a steep descent to the bay below would prove otherwise. Overhead and at the tops of adjacent hills, clouds waft by so closely that one can almost touch them. And below, vultures, or kobo as we call them, soar through the air in search of carrion. That's how high up it is. Now under the remit of the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, the site was upgraded and officially opened in May of 2022. The grounds are meticulously maintained by the government, however, it is a point of pride to those in the community that it remains that way for a long time to come. They therefore treat it with respect, as should you if you visit. I'm Carrie Roberts giving you a glimpse of the paradise we have right here.